Do you want me to sit here? Yeah, You want to sit there. You want to sit here? Oh, no. This is good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You have to just give me this. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Now we okay. have to tell them who we are. All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Linda Dano. And I'm Dee Kelly, and we want to welcome you to Attitudes. <sighs> and I'm going to tell you something. What? What is it? I don't know. Yes, I do. We're going to a very special event this yes. evening. Yeah. It's the Children AIDS Foundation event, and it's here in New York. The benefit. And right. we have been asked to host it. Can you imagine? And it's a very big honor, and it's a very important evening. And uh, Madonna is going to be there, Kathleen Turner. Sting is sending videos in. Lots of people are, you know, taping things from all around the world for children and people with AIDS. Yeah. And uh, we just so, wanted you to know that we're going to yeah, be there. We'll be there tonight. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's that nice. shout. Yeah. Hopefully, we can be part of helping raise a lot of money for, for a very needed cause. And that is at Shout on West 43rd Street in, right. in New York City. In New York City. Okay. So if you're around, come on down and see them. My uh, babies are here today. My dogs. No, I don't have baby babies. I have dogs, which well, I yes, think are babies. Yes, yes. Are. I dress them in little skirts. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a, a, a veterinarian here who is going to help me show all of you and show me how to give my dog a massage. Holistic medicine for pets. And I'm hoping, beyond hope, that he does it for people. <laughs> yes, because he does my it. back yeah. has been yeah. hurting. He does it. That's great. And I'm game for all that, you know. Stretching I, those yeah. cat's yeah. paws. I hope and Chang doesn't bite him. It's my only concern. Oh, yeah. dear. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you know, we've been doing this fantasy series. Mm -hmm. And today we have one for Dean. I don't want to tell you what it is because it's spectacular. No, she's spectacular, and uh, I don't want to give it away, so I'm not going to do it. It's exciting. Yeah. And then we have our favorite recipes. Yeah. Favorite recipes, yeah. as opposed to favorite <laughs> recipes from childhood. Yeah, things that we learned to cook when we were kids, and we're going to show you what they are, and you never need to make them ever. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where do you see mine? I can't wait. I don't cook. I don't know what hers is. I really don't. And we have a very special recipe of a man here. Ahmad Rashad is with us. Yes. Celebrity, sportscaster, fine athlete, and he'll be here later he's on. He's got too. a new show that he's going to talk about. Okay. Handsome person. Yeah, and we have a, an awfully nice lady in the back. Uh, yeah. We've been chatting with her, and we have to get started on this show because she's got a dinner party. She does. She has to get back to Connecticut. Well, everybody remembers our first guest from her first hit, which was Hilarious, a film called Airplane. Since then, she's played a cast of funny characters in films which include Beyond Therapy, Midsummer Night Sex Comedy, and her latest, Rude Awakening. Please welcome a woman with a very special cause, actress Julie Haggerty. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hi, good to see you. Hi, Hi Julie, again. Come sit. Well, well, you you are. You know, it's funny because when I've seen you in all your films, and you always play this kind of thing, and when I meet you in real life, I I, I don't sense that at all. I said this very bright, very this this. The comedy that you do, the funny thing you do, this is very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so yeah. much. Have you always loved comedy? Yeah, I have. I have. But I, you know, I, I think that when you approach comedy, you have to play it just very seriously, you know, in order to make it funny. Funny. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to be, and understand how I'm going to say this, is what Linda was saying. It's hard to act that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, although, although, I'm putting it, although I thought I, I did pretty, it rather yeah, badly, yeah, I, was just gonna say I that. think maybe you've taken it a step Yeah, right, right, right. But that's basically <laughs> what we're saying, except that... Well, I think it, it's also in comedy, it's the situation that's, yes, that's, that's funny. In other Airplane, that, you that were just hysterical. I mean, hysterical. just... Well, she was a, a person who was trying to uh, be in control of the situation, and I think the situation was going askew yes. around her. So to say the was, least, yeah. yeah. Well, Speaking of situations and speaking of <laughs> trying to speak, tell us about where you came back from. You just came back from Kentucky. Well, yeah, this weekend I spent probably the most wonderful weekend I've ever spent in my life that I will hold in my heart forever. I went to the uh, Special Olympics in Kentucky for, um, for the uh, first annual equestrian invitational, and it was just to articulate what I saw, oh, the, here's some of the pictures. hope. Now that is um, Scott, and he uh, participated in riding, and he just, 
if you look at that face, there's just sheer faith, hope, innocence, and determination. Yeah. And for these athletes to ride, and, and the families and the coaches, it gives them experiences. And just for instance, the other photo, um, we have it, another picture. There's another yeah, photo. Yeah, it was up first. It was oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, in the first see. photo, I didn't see it. Um, that was um, Chris. And, no, I'm sorry. Chris is his brother. Um, but he, um, his parents took us around for the weekend. There it is. There it okay. Is. There, that's Sean and, oh, yeah, Chris. And, uh, well, anyway, Craig. They said that Craig would never walk. And, um, he last year won a gold medal in, uh, in, in Reno for uh, skating. Mm -hmm. And now he's swimming. And it just, the Special Olympics have, have given these athletes the courage to try yeah. new things and do new things, which is just, and the mother, well, the Southworths took us around this weekend. They have seven children. And Craig is a Special Olympian. and. She has a wedding next week, and she took us around and was there for the kids. And also, some of the other athletes who didn't participate were there cheering on their yeah. friends who were riding. Yeah. It was just, it was wonderful. It was just, I can't, I get all choked up when I think about how determined yeah. these, it, these... It really, when you are, when you experience that kind of single-mindedness in, in the face of, of what most of us would just sit down and, and not even try. Right. It gives you a new sense of life and what can, what, what yeah, can be done. Is. Exactly. And, um, well, also, Kevin, he was, he was riding, and his horse took off. And he was charging the fence, and yeah. I thought, that, that horse is going to go over the fence. And my hair would have been standing straight up on end. Yeah. Kevin collected his horse stopped his horse and got right back out there and and all these athletes it was raining that day and uh, they were just so proud to be there in in what they have accomplished so this and was obviously a very very moving experience oh, for you absolutely it changed your life it did change my life and just it's sheer i learned what real true succeeding is yes and yeah. these athletes are doing it. Yeah. I mean, have you all ever been involved with the with the Special yeah. Olympics? Yes, is, yes, it, it is. It's, it's just it's a remarkable experience. Serious. You should all do it. In fact, when yeah. I was a kid, I, I also went to a camp of of children that were mentally retarded, and mm -hmm. I spent two weeks with them. And I I said to my mother, "Thank you. Uh, it should be a requirement for every child mm -hmm. in the world to do this. To do this, and, and also because you learn so much from them. Absolutely, you absolutely do. What were you like as a kid? Yeah, we, uh, were you were you involved in causes? Of, <laughs> no, I was very shy. Were you? I bet. When yeah. I was younger, yeah, I was very shy. But I just want to say too that that there are um, a million athletes participating in this, but for every one of those, there are three uh, three children or adults that don't know about this yeah. and and that people should get involved and even your time or whatever there you can just go and be a hugger really? and just get That's all right. the hugs and love you want and Great. just it's it's just uh so people should get involved with, with the this. special Olympics. yes absolutely. julie thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you i was really special nice person. meeting you Wonderful yeah. Special, being yeah. yeah thanks for sharing all thank that you. Really. thank coming you coming up yoga and massage therapy for your pet As you all know, my dogs are very important to me. So when something new comes along that's going to make my babies happier, I am all ears for it. So when the producers told me that Chin Chin and Shang were going to do yoga, I got kind of excited. <laughs> our next guest is here to show us how we can heal our pets with our hands. Please welcome holistic veterinarian Will Winter. Hello, Will. Hello. Now, who is this baby here? This is little Stir Fry, who is, as Very you can see, a uh, calico. Right. A little overweight. 
Is she? And there's a couple of things I want to show today if I don't do anything else. So you keep me in, in, in line here. Okay. One is how to see where an animal is sick with your eyes. Anyone can do it. The other one is then how to take your hands to that spot. Because okay. I started out a regular veterinarian, did it for years, and I realized that the things people come to the vet for, I didn't have the tools for. There are certain things that were wonderful, car crashes, things like that, where my drugs and surgery were wonderful. But people come to me with behavior problems. There's no drug for that. There's no, no. surgery for that. No. People come to me with immune problems, with allergies with bone problems, arthritis, hip dysplasia, and I realized something else was going on that I was missing. So my path came down through acupuncture. Uh, I found out that acupuncture is somewhat expensive for people, and I thought, well, what's, what else is there? So I discovered uh, the hands. I, I, this is my discovery. These are things that have been known for thousands of years. And I realized that like I said, first of all, you have to see where the energy is stuck. There's energy that flows through the body. And when they put those acupuncture needles in you, they are either letting it flow or they're releasing excess energy. Now, is there anything wrong with little stir fry? This is a pretty happy cat. This is a cat that we, we selected this one because uh, she's a little bit sl slowed down. You notice she has a flea collar on, which yeah. are very dangerous. They work by... Uh, lowering, the, there's so much in the bloodstream that if the flea bites you, they will die on your blood. Your bl blood becomes poisonous. And it's right over the thyroid gland. So this, really? little, this little kitten's already fat. The thyroid's already slowed down, and that could be part of it. So she should so, not wear uh, this. Today, we're going to just talk about moving the energy. Uh, we could do a whole show on how to make sure there's plenty of energy there. And uh, this cat is a little bit low of, of energy. There's not quite enough vitality. Okay. You have to move it. Uh, but also you have to have something to move and this, this I'd like to see this cat be a little more revved up so the first thing I do is fast this cat for what a do you couple mean? of days no Just food. no no mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. really so uh, now the thing stir I, fry you're not gonna be thrilled about that are you <laughs> shall we do some uh, some physical stuff okay let's, uh, this let's see. these were things that I learned from people who are doctors osteopaths chiropractors people who do Reiki, Kafudu, uh, Traeger, all of those okay. different types of uh, healing apply to animals. Okay, well, and, show uh, me what you do. And especially for behavior problems. This is where I think people can relax a nervous, uptight, uh, jittery animal. Uh, it, it helps to have the animal relaxed and quiet. You can't get a massage when you're nervous, when your muscles are all tensed up. And um, you notice it's about three fingers from the shoulder blade to the neck. And I'd encourage everybody to measure their cat to see if the neck is all scrunched up. Because We have people in the audience who are measuring right that's now. They good. brought their animals that's and That's where trying. I see the most pathology in animals okay. is the neck is not right. And uh, when we get a dog out here, you can see things more easily uh, with an untrained eye on a dog. So we'll do the visual part. Okay. This time I want to just move into where I feel like there's something stuck. Like, say, if it's my cat, I get this off here first thing. Okay. And what's ironic, this cat has fleas anyway. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, get the cat uh -oh. comfortable and relaxed. <laughs> I like to take off all my jewelry if I'm really doing this. I like to get down on the floor where they live. Oh, my God, I just hit him in the uh, head. I was so glad that you had pillows in here because uh, in my exam room, uh, my place is down on the floor. That's uh, No wonder they're afraid when we slam them sure. on a the stainless steel Absolutely. table. Absolutely. So I have a lot of carpet around, a lot of plants. Pl uh, cats love plants. And I like to have things on my hands that, that smell good, catnip or cheese or, or right. liver treats. Right. And this cat is being pretty good, don't you think, under the circumstances yeah. with all these bright lights? Right. Um, I'm going to show this neck area because I think oh. this is the area that's the, that's that the most And that doesn't hurt her. I mean, isn't uh, it dangerous for me to do this? I don't what, know how far to go. Yeah, you should practice on children or your husband oh, or... Kill uh, them first. Well, you don't want to injure an animal, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Come here, Frank. K kids are great. Let me try something on you. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> but uh, notice what I'm doing. I'm finding out kind of uh, if there's anything that's stuck there. And the cat will tell you if it hurts. And if they tense up, that's the, that's the time to quit. Um, and you notice the head, the head turns uh, quite a distance. You'll hear a little... Uh, uh, Are you going to do this pop. to my babies? And again, I'm, I'm, I'm being very gentle. I'm not forcing it where it doesn't want to go. Well, that Back. looks like it's hurting her. This is her. The, the yoga. It's not. Um, You're no. sure it's not? You can absolutely tell. It's one thing I can guarantee you if it's hurting the cat. Or the now, dog. Now, a lot of cats are, or dog. Right. A lot of animals are not used to being touched, and the body has a tendency to turn into a couch potato. So when we do yoga, we, we make the body do what it was built to do. Okay. This animal was built to climb trees and kill things. Right. These are predators. 
By the way, I'm very glad to see these little claws. You should never declaw a cat. It's okay. extremely in inhumane. Because it's part uh, of the, who they are. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nor should children carry a cat around. I just wanted to put now, that in. Now, let me take her. Okay. And let's bring in my baby. Yeah. All right, John, may I? You can put the babies down. They'll come right to me. Come here, Shangy. Hey. Come here, Angel. They're back. The girls are back. Come on up here, honey. Now, come what I want to you to do is, uh, when you Sit look down. at these dogs, usually where your eye goes is where there's a problem, where your eye first goes, what, what attracts you, what, what calls you in. And uh, okay. for me, uh, my eyes go right to the face on right. these dogs. Incidentally, did you all notice Linda's cat energy? Uh, she has dogs, but uh, look, look out towards the camera. Look at those eyes. And, uh, my eyes? Look at, look at Linda's eyes. Look at, look at her face. She has a lot of vibrancy, a lot of vitality. No, no. Both of these hosts do. When they shake your hand, there's a plenty of energy. But you have a very cat-like body. You've got the nails. And I could really see you being a student of the cat. I'm starting to like you more and more. <laughs> you know that? Now, oh, these little dogs, pink. when you see people with uh, dogs with scrunched up faces, those are usually kind of a baby. Uh, it's a baby connection. It's, uh, these, these dogs look like children. They look like babies. Uh, the, the, but the, the face here... Uh, uh, tells me a lot of information. You notice there's mucus coming out of the eyes? Yes. What is uh, that? The Can noses. you cure that? Well, this is partly breed. The breed is built Come to be, have congested, kind of constipated, right. stuck energy here. Like I said, the energy flows from your nose to your tail and out your fingers and toes. And these dogs just uh, are going to have a lot of problems right in this, in this facial area. Now, show me what and, you would do um, for for neuroses. This little puppy is so neurotic. These dogs can are you, can bundles you fix of, that? Uh, of nervous energy. You notice how red the skin is in the ears and the face. And, and these are dogs that need to get down into their body. They're in their head a little bit too much for their own good. It's great for us. They think too much. There's a good relationship that's going on here. And you'd probably uh, uh, be a different person if you didn't have these little creatures. Oh, yeah. no, these uh, are my animals heal us. Yeah. And they've made some kind of pact in this lifetime to come into domestic bodies and uh, work with us. You know, we're kind of guests on the planet, and the animals and the plants heal us and help us. Now, show so, me uh, a massage to Chin Chin, okay. and then I'll do it to uh, Shane, because we're almost out of time. Okay. I'll now, this again is a, is, a, is a neck area. <laughs> be careful. And uh, these dogs are a little bit more nervous. You notice that we're not going to be able to get away with much yoga. So I would go right into these areas, and what you do is feel, feel Linda, uh, for things that grind. You can go a little deeper. You can put your fingers down in there. And those that are doing it in the audience, uh, just cup your hand right around the neck, and what you're feeling for are those tight little muscles that you have in your own neck, those little places where yeah. somebody presses it, and you go, oh, yeah. that's what you want to find. When you find one of those, you've got your place to work. I found uh, one. Okay. I found it. You can go deeper. It. You're, you're <laughs> just in the skin. And as you do this, we're doing it fast here, but as you would be doing it watching TV or at home, you would yeah. be going more slowly. Slow down a little bit. Oh. Uh, uh, slow down and relax your hand and go past the skin, down into the muscles. You can even feel the bone. Yeah, yeah. Look at Shane. Let me have your thumb here a little bit. Okay. Now feel this one here. Feel the difference in these two we're dogs next. out of next. time, Will. I wish we could do this all day. Uh -huh. And he's tapping his rap sign to okay. me. Okay. Look, you guys, um, if you want more information on how you can learn to heal your pet with your hands, stay tuned, and at the end of the show, we're going to show you how to get the Lifetime Attitudes tip sheet. Good. Will, thanks so much. This has pleasure. been interesting. Thanks. You learn anything, guys? <laughs> Are you rubbing your dogs? Yeah. Dee? <laughs> Coming up, the Cosby Mom's real husband, Ahmad Rashad. Come back. Our next guest is an ex-football star and NBC sports commentator and the man who proposed marriage to Cosby mom, Felicia Allen Rashad, during halftime of a nationally televised football game. Lucky for him, she said yes. <laughs> and now it is his role as head of Team Rashad that he says he enjoys most. He says they hang out well together. Nice. Now here to hang out with us today is Ahmad Rashad. Tell 
us about Thanksgiving Day when you proposed. Yeah, let's get it out in the open. Yeah. What exactly I was happened? Drunk. <laughs> I read that. Were you really? Yes. No, I wasn't at all. No. I was drunk with love, I guess. I think so. Yeah. But she had sent you roses. I think that's what did it. I was, um, I was actually, um, I was in a bar with uh, uh, one of the trainers from the New York Jets, and we were talking. I was telling about this woman that I just met, and some, for some reason, I had to go to my room. And when I got to my room, there were roses all over my room. I had never been sent roses. When I got back, he said, hey, you got to propose to her. And we laughed and laughed and had one or two more beers. <laughs> I said, I'm going to oh. do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. <gasps> there, now here I am four years later. Here you are with a baby and everything. Beautiful little girl. Be she is we, beautiful. We have a yes. picture of yeah. this family. Yeah, let's look at let's this look at happy that. family. Team Look Rashad, what does that mean? That's, uh, I don't know, I just, we just call it that because there's Is so it? many of them. Yeah. Look at this. Now, you have children from another marriage? Yes, we have five all together. Yeah, because Felicia had a child. Right, right. she has a son, and I have uh, a son and two daughters. One in college. You guys are very down to earth, I understand. I mean, I know Felicia, and I know she's down to earth, so I assume you are too. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. We are. We don't have nothing special. Nobody thinks anybody's special in our house. Do you ever yes. miss not, uh, Playing football? Uh, no, never. No? No. That I had a lot was of a natural fun. transition? Well, I played for 11 years. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. And I had a lot of fun, and when it started to get not so much fun, it was time to move on and do something else. And I was fortunate that I had worked uh, in television the last five years of my playing career, so I was working full-time in television when I decided to quit. Oh, see, that helps. No, yeah, you just, there easier. really isn't a transition. There, no, it no. wasn't. It wasn't a transition. Yeah. And I didn't quit and not have a job. I actually yeah. had a job. Yeah. It's just that I didn't want to get beat up anymore. Yeah. Now, you have a new job. Yes. Your new show. New show. How's called it going? In Sport. Wonderful. Yeah, you like it? Wonderful show. Yeah. It's a magazine type show that deals with athletes off the field. No, we don't show very much footage of what they do on the field, but we show uh, more personality, try to humanize the athlete. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. because a lot of people, you see somebody doing something and you wonder what kind of person they are, and we are giving you that opportunity to see what kind of person they you are. You brought a clip. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's see it, everybody. His new uh, show, In Sport. In Sport. Dean, the world's greatest female jockey, I don't think, I don't mind very much. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like a double standard. You know, when it works my way, I, I like it, and when it works against me, I don't like it. When I first started going out, we were like, oh, well, you know, jockey, and they're like macho, aren't they? And not at all. Julie's more feminine than probably I'm anyone, <laughs> more feminine than anyone I've ever gone out with. He's amazed by me and my riding talents and my personality, and I'm amazed by his photography talents and his personality. Okay. Nice. That's good. It is. It's like an inside view. Yeah, and we, uh, I make sure that we have as many women involved as, as, as possible. That's one thing. Every come in and press, uh, one of the producers of the show, I go in every Monday and say, we've got to have more women, more women, because there's so many women doing so many sports things. Yeah. And I think people are more interested, or as interested, in other sports as they are the mainstream ones, like uh, football, basketball, and baseball. But there's a lot of sports out yeah. there, yeah. and a lot of people uh, involved in them. What can women do? these football widows, as they're called, what can they do to become more involved in a husband's passion for this sport, or any sport? Do you have any suggestions? Divorce is one. <laughs> that goes up a lot. What they do? Could, should they learn more about the game? Maybe they'll if, feel yeah, more involved? If you involved? learn about the game, it's easier to watch, for one thing, sure to is. know. But football is a tough sport to watch. When you watch it and you don't know much about it, it looks like everybody just runs into each other. Because yeah, it's it's like, if you talk to porn people that haven't seen football, it's very hard to understand. Yeah. My wife is a porn person that doesn't know what's happening. No, that's she not true. She doesn't know football? No, no. She's no. married to you and doesn't know no. football? she cheers when they come out of the huddle. Oh. She, just, she said, you know, they all did that together. And she that's cheered. right. <laughs> Good. She's very family. That's, that's <laughs> she can't true. help herself. That's true. I think you got to learn a little bit about it, but you don't have to know everything. I think a lot of these announcers come on and they give you the X, Y, Z, and they got a double Willie Sally zone. That is not important. Yeah. What's important is when they score a touchdown. That's yeah. all. You don't have to know all the other stuff. Did you know when you were a kid, and did your family know you were going to be famous? Did they know you were uh, really that kind of athlete? I was famous for making peanut butter sandwiches when I was younger. <laughs> and uh, no, I don't think so. I don't now? think anybody. I don't, I, know, I don't know how you know. Did your dad work with you as a youngster my, or your mom? I never saw my dad in a pair of tennis shoes, <laughs> ever. So it, wasn't, it was something that I enjoyed doing, and Natural I just did talent. it. Yeah. yeah. I just like to do it. What, what, 
Tell me what a day is like with you and Felicia. I mean, when you're not working, because you've got crazy, crazy careers. You're busy as you can all... be, and so is she. And what? these kids all live with you? Yeah, but there's some of them are gone. We got kids in school. Uh, we Thank just, God. We have we have just a normal day. You know, we, it's nice to have breakfasts together. We try to do that, even though that uh, we all leave the house at about the same time. Right. Come home at a normal time, five, six o'clock. Make and, dinner. Yeah, yeah. Felicia Make likes dinner. to cook. Yeah, she where do you live? She likes to cook, and she and uh, Mount Vernon. Uh huh. Yeah. She likes to. Um, as busy as she is, she still likes to make dinner for the family, you know, which is she can come home as tired as she wants to, but she likes to do that. She likes being a mom. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Great. Little You're a nice couple. Well, thank you. You are. You're a nice guy. Thank Tell you. Her we said yeah. hi. And I will never hi. I will never oh take my cat and switch his Good luck. Out. Good luck with your new show. <laughs> thank you. In sport, everybody. Yeah, 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 watch it. Yeah. Coming up next, a to die for fantasy of the designer kind you won't want to miss. Really? You so won't. So come back. All right, now let me find out. I want to ask you something. What? what would your fantasy be for the ultimate shopping experience? Can you even answer that question? Well, I think it would be not to shop at all and to have a fabulous dress or an outfit or something made by a great designer. Well, put your seatbelt on. Oh, God. I had the ultimate dress made for me by the ultimate designer. Who? Arnold Scazzi. No, you did Yes, didn't. I did. Scazzi makes dresses for Barbara Bush and Barbara Streisand. Yep. All the society ladies wear Scazzi. Yes. You know, me and my Scazzi, yes. those ads. Yes. You're now one of them? I know. You had a costume made by Scazzi that's yes. worth thousands of dollars. Yes. Do you get to keep it? Uh, yes. <gasps> How did you do that? It's incredible, isn't it? It's the most amazing story. I have to tell you this. I couldn't wait. You just won't believe it. I was in the office one day, and I was just flipping through the... What office? Oh, my office. Oh. You know, I have an yeah. office somewhere. And oh, was... here's one of those ads. Mary Tyler Moore. Me and my Scazzi. I love his clothes. No wonder all those great ladies have them. Auto heiresses like Charlotte Ford and society princesses like Gayfred Steinberg. Real princesses like Yasmin Khan and the first lady even has one. Why can't it be D. Kelly, me and my Scazzi? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, well, it'll never happen. D, I've got an invitation to a Scazzi opening. Do you want to come with me? Oh. The invitation. Sure, Edie, that would be great. Super. Thanks. So the next day, there we were at the Scazzi showroom in New York. The fashion press, buyers from all over the world, and me, D. Kelly. Leave it to Edie to get us front row seats to the best show in town. This is the Skazi Resort Collection. Evening clothes for women who move south for the winter. Think Palm Beach and Palm Springs, Hollywood and Dallas, and you'll know what I mean. These clothes, every one a fabulous fantasy creation right out of a storybook. But the best part were the colors, bright, glorious combinations you would only find on a Scazi. Backstage for a second look. Then the most embarrassing thing happened. 
Dee, what are you doing here? Oh, Gazi. Well, I, I shouldn't have come in, really. I, the, the color, it was so colorful. The door was open. I, I saw them up close, but I just had to just touch them. I mean, Good. I know I shouldn't be in. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to be leaving now anyway. Why? The, you um, saw the collection? The show was fantastic. The collection was absolutely gorgeous. Great. And, you know, it's kind of a dream of mine to, you know, I mean, you're just one of my to favorites. What? To have a, a, a dress. You know, a dress. Just to just well, look at it up. A, close, no, you should have a dress, but, absolutely. But I really appreciate it. And the lunch was wonderful. I right. loved the carrots. They were but great. But you have to come and get a dress. <laughs> That's what we do. We're in business. We want to sell dresses. I know it would never happen to me because I mean, well, no, 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 no. You, I don't want to hear any more about it. We're going to make a date, and tomorrow you're going to come to the salon, and we're going to pick a dress for you. And we may even go out after and have you wear it. Oh well, thanks. <laughs> I was so excited, and to top it off, the next day on my way to the Scazi Salon, an Attitudes fan recognized me right on Fifth Avenue. I knew this would be a great day. That's great. You know, we, not many people know, but we do, for the made-to-order collection, we now do this, coats Now this, the ultimate shopping experience. Having right, one of the world's sure greatest designers fun. make a dress so just for you. Of course, stuff. deciding is the best part. I, I love doing print, and that's... And I love the idea of the big sleeve and the fullest skirt. And as it's a short in front, long in back, you'll see those wonderful legs of yours. And this is a great dress because it's a year-round dress. It has the now famous Scazi crumb catcher <laughs> top, which is not one of my favorite uh, descriptions of a dress. But I love the sapphire blue, which we now call Barbara Blue. That's what I my heard. New friend. This is one of my favorite dresses. We call this the Camille dress because it was really uh, inspired by Garbo and Camille. God, she wears I love, this dress. I really love this. But I love color. You know, we, I think we should probably try colors on you. Okay. I don't know. We have all these colors, so obviously we should try red. Look at this Let's red. See what red does. Red. I love that. I love that. But then I love red, you know, I, everything in my house is red. And Do you have a red jacket? I just ordered a red jacket. You yeah. did? And I just love red. I think red. If you go with red, I'd be very happy. Oh, Would you do like it. that? Yes. Two weeks later, it was ready. Oh, God. I really love it. You know, it's I think it looks great. Doesn't it look fabulous on Oh, it? it's so pretty. I think I, if I tighten this a bit, does that feel more comfortable? Yes. Yeah, I think so. I can feel That's the difference. And you can lift, still lift your arm. Yeah. Great. I don't want to just do that. Yeah. And I love the way the leg goes. I love the things leg. leg. That's just fabulous. I don't know which I love more, the neck or the leg or well, both. You're looking at everything. I think we should try some jewelry on you now. That's a sort of beautiful earring. That's maybe very this pretty. Is prettier. I don't know. Let's try this one. Oh, I like this. How's that? This is fun. Is that fun? Great. Really. It's fabulous. Now we're going to try the shawl on you. Like that. With all the colors. Oh, you didn't know I was making this for you, no. did you? Isn't that I great? I thought it was just a dress. No, I think it's wonderful. Look at this. That's wonderful. I love that. I love that. Me and my Scazi. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Why not? Now, we have a very special place to wear it. Yes, we well, remember we had a date. We made yes, a date last week. Yes, we did. Date, but we I'm excited. We that date. Oh, it's and, fabulous. And uh, we're going to go off tomorrow night. And uh, we're going to do perfect. the town. We're going to paint the town red. Oh, gosh. And fuchsia. And fuchsia. How's this for a dream date? Pablo Picasso, Claude Monet, Arnold Scazi, and me. Mm, we had champagne in his New York apartment. Thank you for this wonderful tour of your art collection. Oh, wow. Well, Besides I love fashion, it. art is your passion. passion. That's right, it certainly is. We've got to go now. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we're going to be late. Boy, am I ready. You are ready. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> I don't know which I loved more, the Scazi by my side or the Scazi on my back. But my wish had come true. Finally, it was me and my Scazi. And here she is, live and in glorious red, Dee 
and her Scotsy. Ladies and gentlemen. Like a princess. You look like a princess. Uh, Scotty said, show the leg, show the show leg. Show the leg, get the leg, get the leg, get the leg. Like just a little, little Isn't demure. Isn't this beautiful? And he is the most beautiful man, I must tell you. I, it was a dream come true. It is your fantasy, isn't it? It is. He is just... It's breathtaking. It was a wonderful You look thing. radiant. Thank you. Oh, I love how you look. You look <laughs> adorable. Isn't it she look adorable? She does. Thank you. It's wonderful. It's so exciting. And he's so nice. He is nice. Everyone that works for him, they're all beautiful. Yeah. Let me see your earrings. Very nice. Now, the president's wife and all the and socialites her. and me. Dean and, and her Scotty. And yeah, Great. well. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah. It's Thanks. wonderful. All so, right. what are we going to do next? Well, I thought we should maybe do our childhood recipes. Do you want to cook in this? Oh, good, I can. <laughs> no, good. you're I don't not. Have to take you're going to change. Oh, no, good. go, right. go. All Come right. back, everybody. We're going to cook. <laughs> decide what to cook for dinner tonight? Well, I figure all of us have at least one really great recipe that we've been cooking forever. And Dee and I decided that we would like to share our favorite recipes with you. That's easy for you to say. Because I know, <laughs> and everyone else knows, that you are a fabulous cook. And I really Ooh. need to learn how to make something that looks like this. Okay. Which looks like tomato sauce, so okay. let's do it. Now, these really are our childhood recipes, and of course, being Italian... And I'll show I, you uh, mine. I'm going to make you the quickest okay. what tomato sauce. What was this? Oh, this I'm was, sorry. This, this is what? This was oil. olive oil. Now, I don't use extra virgin olive oil. I don't particularly like the flavor of it. I use regular olive oil, okay? And I That's put... Garlic. This is garlic chopped up. How many? Now, I don't know. I just throw it in until it looks right. Oh, great. Uh, a couple of cloves. That's going to be just Now, great. the trick to this sauce, believe it or not, is you really brown the garlic. It gives it a different kind of flavor, okay? okay? Now, while that's doing... Can I cut something Yeah, up? cut up these tomatoes like this. Let me show you one. Well, cut them over the... Over the oh, no, you can't. Cut them into a, a bowl. Here, give me this. Give me this. Okay? Cut them like this. I leave the skins on. Let the juice kind of goo out of there, okay? And just cut them up. Take off that little thing there, you know, that little What's head that thing. Hole? Can you get that on camera? That little thing at the end? I, I don't think that's so appealing to eat. What you know is what it? I mean? a it's stem? the stem part, yeah. Now, you, you just cut Did these at will, you know, any size you want, okay? This is, sharp. This is called, this is called pasta that's really fresh. <laughs> oh, uh, fresh tomatoes, fresh basil. Yeah, what are you messing I'm this up? I'm cutting. I'm cutting. <laughs> this and is messing. easy. I'm cutting and Think messing. Think of your, your That's husband. That's burning. Yeah, I want um, it to burn. I want it to burn. He was a great cook, though. Yes, he was. Did you that. ever cook? Ever in your life? Never? Yes, I have a recipe for you. If we go quickly, you'll get yeah. to see mine too. Okay. Now, get them just hurt. That's enough tomatoes. We don't need any more tomatoes. Is that right. it? All right. Now, this really has to burn, sort of. Uh, not burn. I, I don't want to overstate that. Brown. But we'll pretend it's brown. Okay. Okay? Well, that's throw that good. in there. Take fresh basil. Wash it, of course. Okay? And throw it in. Throw it in. Okay. Who taught you this recipe? My mom. Oh, my that mom. pretty. I Can ate this my that? whole life. Oh, that's Now, good. these have to kind of be cut up a little smaller, smaller, but that's not bad. And you let it cook down. You add just a touch of sugar, just sugar? that much, okay? Okay. Salt? And salt always. I use salt. I know I'm not supposed to, but I and do. And then you put a blessing on it like and that. Do that. <laughs> and that's it. You cook this up. Pretend this is cooked up a little. It should cook a little bit longer. I, I don't cook this more than just a few minutes. Let the tomatoes kind of cook down, you know? And that's it. You throw it over pasta. Pretend this is cooked. That looks All right. great. Like that. Ooh, let's hey, taste it. Good? 
It smells wonderful, honestly. And it just needs to be cooked a little more. The blouse, the blouse, the blouse, the blouse, the blouse, the blouse. it doesn't, I don't own the blouse. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Dee, what's your recipe? No, I can hardly wait. wait. Okay. okay, this is very complex, so you have to pay attention. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I just want to see if this is any good. What are you doing? Wait. <laughs> oh, God, I can... Please, you're my assistant. May I have a plate? Yes. Okay, now, see if you can follow this. So what little... is that? It's a little complicated. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's just packaged it's, rice, it's right? rice. Okay. The kind you buy in a sack? Yeah, but there's a special way to open the bag with the scissor that it's very tricky. <laughs> then... <laughs> oh, God. It's so I'm embarrassed wait, for you, Dee. Wait, wait. We taught you how to look cook at this. this. My cousin Susie. Oh, God help 10. her. Is she still married? Yeah, well, yeah. no, actually not. <laughs> well, I figured. She's very thin. What is anyway, this? This is the special ingredient. You see this? I made this. Is that fabulous? That is good. Yeah, now you want to see where you get it? Now taste it. See if you like it. Great. Great. Watch, it's hot. Blow on it. Is that delicious? Yes, but I like chipped beef, too, you know. I know, so. but the main thing is... It tastes familiar. <laughs> Can you see that? This hey, is... Hey, do you serve this to date? This is complicated. Do you serve rice, this to date? Rice, honey? Is that fabulous? Look I at that. No, It looks pretty, doesn't it? The main thing to remember is... Oh, okay? God. Main thing to remember. <laughs> get a sharp scissor and a good can opener. <laughs> and you are really going to have a meal. Mother will never speak to you again. Stay with us, and at the end of the show, we'll show you how you too oh. can get a copy of our yes, recipe. Yes, really. We'll be right back. Is that funny? My recipe. Go well, on. I, I mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so many things, so many details that I think we should tell the audience. Don't well, you? one thing is, don't use water. Play it, I mean, straight. Straight vegetables. Can you imagine if you used water with this? <laughs> what a frightening thought. Well, you could feed more people. <laughs> anyway, we have to say goodbye now. Goodbye. Thanks. Goodbye. To receive the Lifetime Attitude Tip Sheet with information on today's show, call 1-900-900. 773-4040. Today's show and issue number is 1. The cost of the call and tip sheet is $2. To avoid ordering duplicate tip sheets, please check your issue number before placing the call. If you would like tickets, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Attitudes Tickets, 3412 36th Street, Astoria, New York, 11106. Or give us a call at area code 718-706-3575. Tomorrow afternoon at 3, 2 Central, did your significant other get significantly plumper over the holidays? Find out how to dress your man thinner on Attitudes. Coming up on the Lifetime Afternoon movie, her son is having an affair with a woman who's old enough to be his mother. Can you imagine? Ellen Burstyn and Tuesday Weld certainly have something in common. Next, right here on Lifetime.